Today we are visiting Elizabeth Castle, construction of which began in 1594 on a tidal island at the mouth of the harbour in St Helier. This is part three of the video which documents my second trip to the castle on Friday the 30th of August 2024. Here we zoom into St. Helia and Elizabeth Castle. It's another beautiful day in Jersey Channel Islands and I'm walking out to Elizabeth Castle to meet Sarah, a friend of the channel who is actually staying at Elizabeth Castle. So that could be quite interesting to get some insight from her about what it's like to stay there, including the uh, pros and the cons. As you can see, it's not a bad day having a very nice couple of days which has been an oddity for Jersey this summer such a shame but uh, today is nice and uh, we'll see how it goes how about up here not gonna fall off that'd be lovely of course that'd be lovely Will they get up there you got? Oh! Right, hello Sarah. Hi. So, I've just been chatting to Sarah. She's a friend of the channel and she has been coming to Jersey since... 2005. 2005. And this year you've been here... Uh, six times I think. Six times already. So she really is a fan of the island and we are now, I don't know if you can see from the background, but I'll do some hands around in a minute. We're actually standing up against the wall of Elizabeth Castle. And we're using my selfie stick, which I never use. So you'll probably be seeing just the top of our heads. How about that? And Sarah, you've actually stayed at Elizabeth Castle. Did uh, you tell me four times this year? Yes, four times. This is the fourth trip. Wow. And it's unusual, isn't it? Because you actually get cut off from the island. Yeah, so at high tide you get cut off and it is really fun. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can see that for some people that would be a nightmare, obviously, if they want to go out and party, although there's not, ma not many places to go and party in town nowadays. But for a lot of other people, that would be perfect. Yeah, um, and it's really good as well because before half nine when the Star Ferry gets in. Right. If you go all to yourself, and after five o'clock, you go all to yourself. You've got the whole place to yourself. And it is a big place out here. I was surprised. Yeah, I, I have filmed around here, so I'll show you some footage uh, of Elizabeth Castle. I was born here, and I didn't have a clue there was as much land out here as there is. So, uh, so once you're cut off, you just enjoy the tranquility, I suppose. Yeah, you just wander, play lay on the beach because you've got access to I think it's three beaches right um, there's that lovely pier you can walk down yep you get the key to the gate you can walk all the way to the end and of course you go to the discotheque which is in <laughs> so, there isn't a disco <laughs> before anybody signs up and then comes over <laughs> and says well I was looking for the disco and I couldn't find it yeah there isn't a disco okay there's no disco <laughs> but the other week was here with some, I was here with some friends yeah you could hear the Marty Pello concert perfectly I was here. there yeah I was there you can probably hear me singing along to Marty I was probably the only fella <laughs> in the audience there was uh, about 599 ladies of about my age and me <laughs> but it was good actually we <laughs> we were sitting over here having a barbecue and, and listening to it yeah it must have been really loud because it was facing in this direction anyway yeah excellent okay and the accommodation is nice it's absolutely lovely sleep six people yeah it's really up to date um 
Yeah, it's just really nice. And interestingly, uh, just before I switched on, I was saying to Sarah, a lot of people are finding it so expensive to come to Jersey nowadays. And she said, well, you'd be surprised. Our little trip for three of you, is it? Yeah. Has, has been pretty really reasonable. Yeah, reasonable. Yeah. yeah, so this is a possibility at looking at somewhere like this to stay. Definitely a different sort of holiday, and I can guarantee you it is beautiful out here. I imagine it could be a bit tricky if the weather was just dreadful. It's all a bit day weird long. in the fog. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, it would be strange in the fog. Um, but yeah, okay. So I think people might find that interesting. And if not, they don't have to watch. <laughs> <laughs> So you got, well, you've literally got everything here. It's like a, a full, fully uh, furnished apartment, isn't it? It's very nice. And you got, I mean, it, that's fine. Don't worry about it anyway. I mean, you can see it's a lovely sized lounge. You've got your entrance right in from the parade ground. And that is the building there doing up, is it, for yeah, the retreat? Yeah, that's going to be the Elizabeth Castle retreat. Right, and then is it just one big bedroom, is it? So there's a sofa, double sofa it's bed. A double sofa bed. Uh, the double bed and two singles upstairs. So you can literally get six people yeah. in here. It's, it's good, isn't it? Decent kitchen as well. Yeah, let's have a look. Well, let's have a look. I'm not sure. bathroom in there. No one can yeah. see that. No. <laughs> um, it's the kitchen. Oh, lovely, yeah. Kitchen diner. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, and as you say, it's, it doesn't cost the end of the world because, I mean, hotels now are, you know, you're paying a lot of money. Yeah, it's crazy. It doesn't cost the earth. No. So, very good. And we're going to have a quick look around. So, what is interesting, and I think Sarah mentioned it, is that of course if you stay out here, you've got access to, I think she said, three beaches, which would be right. This one, the one over there, and the one over there. So, that's not bad, is it? And as you can see, it's rather lovely.
And so that, ladies and gentlemen, was Elizabeth Castle. Very nice place to visit. Especially when the weather's nice like today. They are doing quite a bit of work on it. But uh, it's probably a good thing. Now we can walk back because the tide is good. People coming out. up with Elu again. Hey, how are you? Hi man. Hi. You gotta say hi to the camera. Hi. Oh, we can't see where it is at the moment. Hi. So this is Elu who I met on the way out here and he's gonna appear on the Reluctant Outdoorsman channel. Yeah. It's yeah. about time we had somebody good looking on the channel Elu. Exactly, exactly. So he's a great guy. Tommy's a great guy and he's if you know want to know Jazzy, that's right. Check me here. out, yeah. <laughs> hello, Tom. Cheers Elu. Bye. 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 <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, Ellie's a lovely gentleman. He's a doctor uh, from Nigeria. So, fair play to him. And I think, probably. That's about it for today. It'll be a bit windy, so I think the sound won't be fantastic. But thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much to everybody who subscribed recently. We're racing towards 900 subscribers, so very grateful for that. And I know there's lots of you who are actually trying to push my channel with other people, so a massive thank you for that. I suppose one of my movies, movies, I'm getting illusions of grandeur. One of my little films wouldn't be complete unless I said, hopefully, I'll see you all again soon. <laughs>